All right, this video is to show uh, me using pawpaw tree bark as a cordage. Uh, I did this right here last night in about 20 minutes. Um, I actually decided last night that, uh, of course, I got tired and didn't want to uh, finish but I left the bark strands in uh, water overnight. Um, I've, I've seen some videos where they actually talk about using ash and, and water and boiling it for an hour or two. So <clears throat> I've actually used this and it's, it's actually pretty pliable. And they say that it's the, I guess the, it's the lie in it that helps uh, make it a little bit more pliable rather than and that's mostly with uh, willow I believe but anyway um, I'm gonna start turning this and show you guys how I have gotten to this point uh, so here we go all right brother Bill Ward this is for you um, you'd asked me last night how I was uh, interlaying this and how I was twisting it. I don't know how well this is going to show up, but just like doing a Flemish bowstring, what you do is you twist away from you, reach under, and wrap to you. Twist away grab hold of and wrap to you so by doing that you end up with let's see if I can get this to show up some you start getting these nice little twists yeah you're gonna have some of these frays but you know it's you can go back over it later on <clears throat> either burn them off or cut them off uh, as you can see I don't know maybe you can't uh, last night I went ahead and took a lighter and singed some of those off uh, I got a little thick in this area here, um, but I don't know that's that's going to hurt me any. But um, I also kind of messed up by um, you're supposed to kind of stagger everything out, um, not line everything up, and I ended up kind of lining everything up. So what we're going to do in this I had some. Um, some of these pieces of bark I uh, started soaking last night so and there's a good long strand right there so um, let's get a couple of them out okay that one's going to have to be cut off so let's get a different one. Yeah, that one's attached. This one will work. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. You want to try to keep your strands pretty much the same thickness. Uh, sometimes it's not as easy so what I'm gonna do is you take this you lay it in there on top and then you're just gonna start twisting sometimes you'll have to come back down here and twist them both but remember again you twist away reach under wrap to you Twist away, wrap two. Twist away, wrap two. And you just keep doing that. Okay. So I'll do this one again. Come back over. And I don't like how thin that piece is. I don't like how thick that one is. So let's go with this one right here.
and then again you just come in here and you you lay it in there and then just start weaving it in twist away wrap two sorry for getting out of the camera angle there twist away wrap two I can already feel that this is going to get a little thicker on one side again because one piece of the bark is actually bigger than the other so I don't want to mess that up any so let's grab a couple more pieces and if they have the little thin spots what you can do like that you can see how thin these are you can turn around and fold them back over once you get it wrapped you can fold them back over and uh, should be able to blend everything in just just right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab those wrap it see if it blends it without and it's gonna get tangled up so you're gonna to have to straighten it out now they show easier ways to do this but I have already tried to roll it on my legs several times and it won't it won't roll so um, and this is wet I didn't see anywhere where it had stated that you needed to have wet cordage or wet uh, strands to do this um, so in other words I think what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and finish this strip out and then I'm gonna stop and I think I'm gonna start over because I'm getting some some spots that are well maybe not let's just go with it uh, let's add some more so all right i will get back with you guys